Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to FIFA 18 where today we are up to the semi-finals of what is this recreation of the FIFA World Cup 2018 on the World Cup edition, I guess you could say, of FIFA 18. So far this tournament we've had a lot of success, especially through the uh, the group stage. We managed to win all three of the games, beating Tunisia 7-1 and Panama like 5-1. So, so far it's been pretty good. We did have a couple of close calls in the knockout stage. Uh, we went up against Poland in the round of 16 where we only just managed to win 1-0 and then going up against Costa Rica in the quarterfinals where we didn't actually score a goal in play. We only scored off of two penalties, which is quite rare because, I mean, I rarely ever get a penalty on FIFA 18. But today we're going up against one of our old rivals from past World Cups and past Euro tournaments, Portugal. So we are going up against Ronaldo. Now, in real life, Portugal were knocked out earlier in the tournament than what we're up to now, obviously being the semi-finals at St. Petersburg Stadium. But as you can see here, we've got both of our strikers in the top scoring sort of position right now. We've got Kane and Vardy both on six, which is quite ironic because Payet's in third and he wasn't even selected by France this year. So, here we go. Semi-final squad is still the same from last week, barring one change, bringing in Sterling. I know he's pretty average in real life right now, but he has the stats on FIFA 18. So, and we, I really want to sort of attack this game. I don't really want to sit back and defend with Dyer in that second of the sort of defensive midfield roles. All right, here we go. I've been so excited for this one all week. Of course, England going up against Croatia in the semi-final in real life. Slightly different... On this tournament, oh, no, on this tournament, but God, oh, yeah, we want to get we want to get this one off to a good start. Get an early goal, that would be nice. It's always nice when you can sit back and control the game. All right, here we go. What a great tournament this has been. And now there's no lessening of the excitement because we're at the semi-final stage from the St. Petersburg Stadium, and it's live. With 60 games behind us in this World Cup already, here we are at the first semi-final, game 61. It's in St. Petersburg. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith has kept pace with it all. And it's Portugal to play in this match today against England. Alan, it's been a really testing tournament, hasn't it, for these two countries and for all four of the semi-finalists. It's about stamina now as much as skill, I guess. Yeah, there's that physical aspect, isn't there? And the managers had to manage that as this tournament's gone on, but... Well, I think the adrenaline will be pumping so much out there today that the legs, there'll be no problem with that, no problem with the energy levels. Portugal with uh, a wonderful football history, of course. We did win the Euros in 2016, we've talked about that. I remember 1966 when they pushed England all the way in England for the World Cup and actually finished third. Had a fantastic campaign led by Eusebio. Yeah, he was a huge name, wasn't he, in Portugal football? And if Ronaldo's a hero now, he was just as big a star back then. Portugal have this starting 11. Rui Patricio starts in goal. Jose Font starts with Pepe in central defence. So a couple of strikers for them at the front end of the team. This is the selection from the England manager. Danny Rose starts with Kieran Trippier as the wide defenders. Jordan Henderson plays with Deli Alley. In the centre of the park, in attack, Harry Kane starts up top with Jamie Vardy. Oh, 
All right, is it really coming home? Can we really go all the way? The teams arrived, but we'll find out today. Stress and strain on their faces just now. down to whether They're we can to contain Ronaldo. The semi-final. Yeah, such a big occasion. The He's looking for the cross. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. Great on, quickly Delhi. when they get possession. Come on, Jamie. Jamie Vardy. Have a hit. Vardy. Oh! In the eighth minute. What a goal! Well, I did not see that coming. The Bendy's imparted onto the ball. I'll give him credit. You could see exactly what he set out to do there and executed it perfectly. Wow, 1-0 up within 10 minutes. All it took was one break. England in the lead. Raheem. Let's go, buddy. Trying to on. switch on the attacking oh, power in this situation. Fucking hell. Just taking the heat. Oh! Sterling. Give away! Sterling. Oh! <laughs> what has happened there? Oh my gosh. Well, I did not see this scoreline coming. Damn. Restarting at 2-0. Oh, it's Bernardo Silva. Guy catching. It's worldwide as no, the competition. No, no, Away. There we go. That's what Portugal attacking now. No. No, Ronaldo. Oh. Set up a chance. That could have been a pen. Really? That definitely could have been a penalty. <laughs> Holy crap. Just worried about the Lucky. rain only in that it's uh, impairing a bit our visibility. Good forward play from them. Shot up. Oh, oh looked a bad mess. I think the defender just put him off. Yeah, he's got to take a lot of credit for that because uh, he had to take the shot quickly, the lad who was trying to score. Now this looks promising. Here's Ali. No great danger here, but they've got the ball. That's the most important thing. Here's Sterling. Deli Ali. Oh, here we go. All day long. 3 0. is that? Takes a lot of bottle to try that, but he's got it. He looked the goalkeeper in the eyes and said, right. I've got the win here, and he's got the goal to show that. I love that kind of finish when you don't have to blast it as long as the placement is right. This, so, this is on world-class difficulty. I've not changed difficulty since the last game. I mean, a lot of people probably wonder why I'm not playing on Legendary being as easy as it is, but on Legendary, I find the game gets a little bit too overpowered. One team really on their game today. But, I mean, we've only just won our last two games, and today, just, I don't know what's going on. This is crazy. Cut that out. Well, well read. Portugal want to attack now. Bernardo Silva. Nice. The shot gets blocked. And that's deflected behind. It will be a corner. First corner of the game. And in it goes. Miss Q oh. really with the header. Yeah, Ronaldo no, almost got that one. You can see why there with that effort. Oh wait, was that not? Oh no, you're not. I thought it was Ronaldo. I saw the yellow armband, but that was Kane. <laughs> 
Rose. Moving forward. Lovely ball. Oh, here we go Allen. again. Kane. Oh, that's a oh, good save. Damn. He got a touch to that. Mario. Very good. All right, half time, half three Probably nil. Better than they could have hoped for. Did not and expect this one at all. At the break. Yeah, I think they so the first goal was a screamer by Vardy. Second goal was a mistake by Patricio, and the third goal, well, just typical Kane-esque finish. Wow, what a game so far. Alrighty, so stats so far. Six shots, three of them ended up in the net, four on target, 53 to 47% possession. So they are making a couple of good breaks, but we've managed to cancel them all out so far. 88% uh, pass accuracy, so Portugal have actually had three shots, but not a single one that's tested Pickford yet. All right, here we go, second half. Let's finish this thing. Really excellent first half of this World Cup semi-final. Second half is now underway. Here's Ali. They could pose some danger now. The shot's on! Oh, Hit it hard, it. but not very true. Oh, far off. That well and intercepted. They've lost the ball, and the counter attack could be there with great vision here. Oh, here we go. With a chance. Oh, Marty, it's clean through to score. Oh, it's four. It so it's four. Shoulders and then pouncing. Four nil. Man, I have no idea what's going on today. The last two games in a row, we have not been able to score in open play, and today we've scored a few scores. Where is that coming from? Different angle on it here. I just hope they can go and do this against Croatia in real life tomorrow. Let tomorrow, that would be wow. What a confidence boost going into the final if they can come up with a result like this. I doubt Hardy will be scoring too, but I hope Kane will be. I don't think we expected this. Such a one-sided affair, but look at the scoreline. Here in Trippier. We find some space here on the flanks. All about picking the right pass now as he cuts it back. Oh, and what a save. Saved by the goalkeeper at full stretch. Henderson. Coming on strong, looking to play their way through now. Quick oh, what a save. The goalkeeper. Corner for England. Shit. Shots on here. Oh, for God's sake. No of course, goal. Ronaldo was going to get his goal. Australia. Oh, it's offside anyway. <laughs> God, our luck today has been ridiculous. On the Portugal bench with the substitutes. And that's a turnover to the opposition. And there it is. We have done it. Can they do it in real life tomorrow? I bloody hope so. 4-0 and we are marching on to the final of the 2018 FIFA World Cup in Russia on the official FIFA 18 version of the game. My gosh, what a game. I did not see that coming. First World Cup since 66. So often we think of his creative abilities, but a couple of goals here and won the match for his team. So in the end it was 11 shots, 8 on target, which meant 4 ended up in the back of the net. 58 possession to 42, only 5 shots from the Portuguese, 2 on target in the second half, 90% pass accuracy and 89% for Portugal, so the passing was pretty incredibly good, but all in all it was just our shooting today was insane. Last week and the week before in the quarterfinals and the round of 16, we were just 
could not get anything, we couldn't get a shot away, they were either getting blocked or saved or just nothing was getting on target, but today, wow, that was a massive turnaround, and I must admit, I think the big change, uh, well the only change that I've made is Sterling, the fact that he got the ball up to Vardy and, and made those passes in the first half and then of course made that weird interception after the goalkeeper made a massive error. But yeah, no. Alright, now let's see who we are going to be playing in the final. Wow. <laughs> so typical. Of course it had to be Germany. Uh, Germany. I knew that was going to happen. Wow. Alright, so final on Sunday. This Nicky Stadium, England versus Germany. Stay tuned for that as we go and try and make history or recreate history here on the FIFA World Cup edition of FIFA 18. Now, in real life, gosh, I just hope we can beat Croatia. We should be able to beat them. On paper, we are the better side. Well, you could argue we are the better side, but you never know. I mean, England's played well at times, but they've also played very badly at times. So I just hope the lads turn up with a good mentality tomorrow and, and attack the game right from the off. But... To be honest, Belgium or France, I'm not sure who... Well, I don't actually know who's gone through yet because that game's still a couple of hours away when I'm recording this now, but I, I just can't see how England are going to beat Belgium or France. I, I know they can if they really, really, you know, put their mind to it and and get through to the final of it. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm a bit talking prematurely, but if we were to get through to the final, I just... I think that's too far of a stretch. I mean, you never know what can happen, but... I definitely hope they can do it, but we just got to get through Croatia uh, on Wednesday. But thanks, guys, for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the final on Sunday. And as always, it's coming home.